वेलकम टू जूनियर टेस्ला इन दिस एपिसोड ऑफ जूनियर टेस्ला वी आर गोइंग टू सी पैतागोरस थियरम और बोधायना थियरम पैतागोरस थियरम और बोधायना थियरम इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन मैथमेटिक्स इट्स अ वेरी पॉपुलर थियरम एज वेल इट से इफ यू टेक राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल देन द स्क्वायर ऑन द हाइपोटनियस इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ द स्क्वायर ऑन द अदर टू साइड्स now hundreds of proofs are there for this particular result but here in this episode i am going to take a very very simple proof and this particular proof takes or it uses only one small concept of similar triangles i am going to take triangle prq now prq is a right angle triangle okay it is right angle at angle r and pq is the hypotenuse of this now i have drawn three squares one square on the hypotenuse and two more squares on the other two sides i need not uh, what do you say name the vertices of this particular square okay and i'm going to take one small construction that is i'm going to draw one line rs from the point or the vertex r so now r is nothing but the right angle for this particular triangle from this vertex i'm draw, drawing one perpendicular line to the hypotenuse at s now this perpendicular line is a dividing okay it is splitting the bigger triangle into two smaller triangles the speciality is these two smaller triangles are similar to each other and also they are similar to the original triangle prq we are going to use only this concept this property for solving or proving this pythagoras theorem let us see how to do it i have taken two triangles triangle prq that is the original triangle and triangle rsq now we know that these two triangles are similar it is very easy to prove that these two triangles are similar now from these two similar triangles i have taken some ratios okay the first ratio is pq by rq and rq by sq is the second ratio and these two ratios are equal now just by cross multiplying i can say rq square is equal to pq into sq what is rq square here rq is the side of this particular square right so rq square is nothing but the total area of this small square which is denoted by the capital letter c so c is equal to pq into sq what is pq pq is this length which is the hypotenuse for the right angle triangle so pq since this is a square pq is equal to this length as well so this length into sq this length so it is nothing but the area of this triangle which is denoted by a so from this relation i can say c equal to a now one part is over we have taken another set of similar triangles that is prq and psr again prq is the original triangle and psr is a small triangle here now from these two similar triangles i can write another set of uh, ratios that is pq by pr and pr by ps and these two ratios are equal now by cross multiplying i can say pr square is equal to pq into ps now what is pr square pr is this length so pr square is the area of this particular square which is denoted by d capital letter d pq into ps pq is this length which is also equal to this length and ps is this length so this into this is nothing but the area of this rectangle which is denoted by capital letter b so from this relation we can say d equal to b so we got two equations one says c equal to a another is d equal to b now what we are going to do is we are going to just add these two equations that is c plus d is equal to a plus b now remember what does pythagoras or bodhayana theorem say it says that if you have taken a right angle triangle then the square on the hypotenuse is equal to square sum of the squares on the other two sides so square on the hypotenuse is nothing but a plus b that is equal to sum of the squares on the other two sides that is c and d so a plus b equal to c plus d and that is how we prove this pythagoras theorem or bodhayana theorem i think this is one of the very very simplest proofs of pythagoras theorem which is using only one simple property that is if you are drawing one line perpendicular line from the right angle to the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle then we are going to have three similar triangles and taking two similar triangles at a time we have got two equations and we are just adding those two equations and the proof is over i hope you enjoyed this thank you for more videos on maths learning please subscribe our youtube channel tesla education
Also, let us know in the comment section about the topics you would like to learn so that we bring more videos to you. Thank you.